not gonna lie i am an absolute fiend for christmas michael buble i can't lie like it's it's the only way it's the only thing that i listen to all christmas round that in the darkness quite a difference but necessary keep the holidays balanced i don't know what i'm talking about i'm feeling very christmasy everyone i'm not gonna lie woke up this morning and today's weather is perfect it's really crisp and wintry like like there was a sheet of snow on the floor. It's nice and cold. It's just it's very nice, very Christmassy. Um, got my Christmas jumper on. This is my favourite one ever. It's like absolutely massive, and I love it. The only thing about this weather, not the only thing, is in like a bad thing, is just I, you can just tell how pale I am. Like I am white. I am white, white. Hello everyone and welcome back to the YouTube channel. How are you? I hope you're all doing well. You'll be happy to hear that for the first time in like a month, maybe, a little bit more than a month I believe. I think the last one that I did was Halloween. So yeah, quite, quite, a, quite a while away. Um, we are back on Pinterest videos. Today is the 1st of December so what better way to kick it off than a little winter in spur? I will be doing another one of these which is going to be like, I've called it Xmas crochet ideas, um, which is going to be more focused around Christmas as opposed to just general winter fashion. Um, there aren't many things in here that scream Christmas, maybe like a couple cardigans, but that's about it. Just because I thought I'd split it up a little bit more. Most of today's projects will be in the clothing category and more specifically there will be jumpers and cardigans. But as usual, these videos will be split up into three sections and today they are clothing, accessories and home decor. Also a little disclaimer that some of these items, like especially jumpers, aren't crocheted. They're probably knitted, but it's just the inspiration like whether it's the patterns or the materials you know the shape of it the design things like that you know what I mean I just saw it and I thought oh winter cute and I added it but it should be able to be made into crochet if that makes sense <laughs> but yeah without further ado let's get into it my darlings I remembered to move to the side <laughs> Alrighty then, so we're going to kick it off with clothing and like I said these are mainly jumpers and cardigans and they're mainly there for the pattern design colours. I feel like they're very close to what autumnal pieces would look like but just a little less warm toned. I think I mentioned that in the autumnal um, inspo video but autumn and winter aren't really defined by like types of clothing for me but more so colours like I tend to wear cooler colours in winter. Oh also I did my nails. The fake. They were a pound from Primark and I just needed something so yeah. <laughs> Alrighty then, I didn't realise how many striped jumpers I actually put in this board but apparently I did quite a few so we have this black and grey um, little striped jumper, I thought that was super duper cute. Um, I do tend to wear more like black whites and greys in winter as well, I tend to, I tend to be a quite like moody winter person as in my colours not my actual self. Um, I love winter, I feel like I'm the happiest in winter. Um, yeah. Then we have this brown, green and cream striped one. But yeah, I just think this is a really funky colour. It kind of reminds me of a Christmas tree, but like a subtle Christmas tree. Like wearing this with like some brown jeans or like some nice blue jeans and like going on a little walk in the forest. Very cute. And what else do we have? This is one of the first Christmassy ones that I saved. I think it might be one of the only ones that like is more Christmas themed, but it was just in there and I thought I'd add it. It's just a nice little red cardigan. I believe it's a kid's cardigan actually. Yeah, it's a children's cardigan, but I'm adding it anyway because why not? It's cute. It's got a little gingerbread man on it and you can just make it into an adult size one. I'd wear the hell out of this. So there's that one. Then we have, again, just a bunch of knitted ones with cool funky patterns on. Um, I really love this one, which is like creams and your browns. Um, and it's got a little roll neck as well. I thought that was super duper cute. Speaking of roll necks, we have this top. I found quite a few of these, but I don't know why, but they've not saved. But it's basically just turtlenecks that are striped. Um, again, put in this, like, maybe like put in this underneath like a black or like a, even this one, I think like a nice burgundy jumper really really Christmas air, really really snuggly and warm because um, she would be a bit cold especially in UK winter um, 
just wearing that on its own. Then I saved a bunch of these. I have a lot of these saved on my Instagram as well. I'll try and find their account, but they basically do a lot of patchwork designs. So patchwork jumpers and patchwork cardigans. I've mentioned them before, but I can't remember what video it was in. But there's this one, which is like, it's more autumnal colors, but I'd still wear it in winter because why not? Especially with my ginger hair, I feel like it just complements it really nicely. And then we have this one, love this with like, it's got like forest green, a little, um, what's it called duck egg blue but a little bit muted um so yeah I saved a bunch of those I love the green one as well I'd really like to try and make one of these because it just seems it seems simple but effective it's kind of it's like a granny square cardigan I'm presuming um but it's just like continuous squares I'm not too sure or they might be sewn together actually I'm not I'm not sure on that one then we have this brown striped jumper again super cute super simple um I'd this is knitted this one but you can easily do it in crochet and then there's this oh this is adorable it's like it reminds me of a candy cane and it's red and pink it's got a really big chunky neck um it's a roll neck as well and like i said it's super oversized then we have this roll neck jumper as well as you can tell i'm just a big fan of roll neck jumpers i don't own many but i'd love to try and create one um so if you want me to like create one of these for a video please let me know down below because that'd be really really fun and really really slay um, this one reminds me of a gingerbread man and it's or it's basically like an orange brown and then it's got like little thin stripes of cream and then a cream roll neck cream sleeves and cream like um ribbed end edge end bottom ribbed bottom <laughs> i meant to go like that and i went like that the one that i think i'd like to make the most is this next one and it's the marceline jumper from adventure time and i've always wanted to make this and just never have basically because I've, I've not had the ability to um but this is knitted but I'd, I'd definitely make it crochet obviously i'm not not i'm not that confident in knitting um but it's her little cat jumper super adorable and then this kind of kind of design with like this cat ones and dog ones and it's basically like the head and then the long body and then the tail and this one's on a jumper but there are scarves as well and i do have some of those saved um i think this is super adorable and again you can crochet it as well it'd be a nice little uh, a nice little challenge i believe then we have this miffy sweater again this one's knitted can easily crochet it i i say easily i mean like easily change it from knitting to crocheting because it's basically a white jumper and then you just stitch in the eyes and the nose then there's this heart cable cardigan now this one i just put in there if anyone knows how to do this how, how you'd go about making a pattern for this for crocheting because this is knitted and I'm not sure how you'd get the whole effect like I'm presuming that you just skip stitches but this is here just for inspiration you know um, it's not yeah you know what I mean <laughs> and then last but certainly not least is this Rory Gilmore sweater um jumper cable knit jumper cable knit jumper Rory Gilmore cable knit jumper um I feel like I mention this in every single video but it's just oh, it's just a need it's a need but I know I don't have the patience for this um or the skills for this but yeah um one of the youtubers that I watch I'll put the channel up here now but they did a they do series where they recreate um items from like popular tv shows maybe not popular just tv shows in general and movies and they did the rory gilmore sweater like the beginning of this year i think and then they've recently just redone it um so i will pop that up here i'm not sure whether it was a tutorial or not i can't remember but i'll 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 put it up you'll be able to see it but yeah i'm just going to say it this side because there's no doubt in my mind that i've probably forgotten to mention something but yeah these are all the lovely ones it's mainly the same type of things like your roll necks your chunky sweaters um your turtleneck shirts tops your turtleneck tops um but just different patterns different colors um the cardigans again pretty much the same but yeah now we're going to move on to accessories so for accessories you've just got your basic things like your balaclavas but i just do them in like a chunkier knit um a nice warm knit as well some people do balaclavas and like hats in mohair but i feel like for winter you need a little bit something that's going to be a little bit more cozy you know this one i love this it's a little bare one and it's with like the puff it, it's not parfait chunky i don't think but i always reference like the super soft chunky 
yarn to the parfait chunky because that's just all I hear my American like YouTubers talk about so <laughs> that's what I mean by that then there's this one as well I love this one I think it's so cute it's got loads of different textures loads of different colors in it but it's mainly like your reds and your creams um just again a little balaclava I'd love to have a go at making one of these but the truth is I'd never wear it but anyway, um, then there's this hood. This is super duper cute as well. Um, quite a few hoods in here to be fair. Then we have these gloves. Now, these ones are stars and there's a navy one and a white one and the reversible. This would be real cute as a, like, a gift for a friend. I feel like having matching fingerless gloves, adorable. Um, then there's also these orange and yellow ones as well. The same thing, just a different color pattern, uh, color scheme. Then we have these long fingerless gloves, like the ones that go like halfway down your forearm. Um, again, super cozy, super duper cute. Uh, these gloves, again, I feel like I mentioned in every single Pinterest video, but it's the Coraline hand, it's the Coraline hand knitted gloves, but you can easily do it with crochet. These fingerless ones are absolutely adorable as well. They're like rainbows and, but like the muted rainbows. I love a muted rainbow little moment. I added these and like these are stockings so these are like cute little green stockings but obviously I'll no I would no I do I wear skirts still I wear mini skirts tights and long socks still in winter it's stupid I know I've had the cold twice because I've done that um these past two weeks um but yeah I just thought I'd include these anyway because why not nice little accessory you can yeah blah 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 I tell you where I haven't I haven't had added in here are some nice leg warmers so I'll find some of those and I'll add those up now I don't know why I didn't add include leg warmers considering they're what I want to make for myself for winter but hey ho these are the scarves we're all talking about um that match the jumper with like the long cats and the long dogs this is a cat one absolutely adorable I love cats so much I love cats I love cats so much but yeah that's that this outfit again um this doesn't link you to a pattern but just the green scarf with like the tricolored uh bucket hat super adorable and together super adorable super duper adorable we have these gloves which have little roses on i thought these were absolutely adorable um again i need to make some more fingerless gloves but in like more diverse colours there we go and um, it's so like a brown a black or a white so then it can go with all my outfits all three of them these mohair mittens and scarf look absolutely adorable these are available on etsy like someone will make you them there's so many different colours but just matching your mittens to your scarf that's why i put it in and i really like the yarn that they used i don't know how cozy it'd be that looks like quite nice mohair so and then in terms of like bags and things like that I wasn't sure what to add because you can literally wear whatever bags you like in winter do you know what I mean like you can wear whatever bag you like in any weather it's not like a bag keeps you warm so I just had a, I just typed in winter crochet and any bag that I found I just popped in Um, I thought this one was really really cute it's a mini teddy bear bag but it reminds me of teddy off of mr bean and I really love that. I think it's really, really super cute. Um, and then tote bags, just a bunch of different tote bags, really. And then there are also these mittens, which they reminds me of these very Weasley core mittens, like different, um, different thick, uh, different thicknesses of yarn, different like colors, just super chaotic mittens. And I think they're absolutely adorable. Like making scrap yarn mittens, that's what it reminded me of. So maybe that'll be next. And then there's just a bunch of photos of people wearing scarves and really cute little winter outfits and I thought I'd include those as well because there's an inspiration. Inspiration. My hair's dropping out really quickly and it's really annoying me. It is, I'm not gonna lie, pook is. Okay, so that is everything that I have for accessories and now we're gonna move on to the next category. All right, so in this section, I said at the beginning it was gonna be home decor, but looking at everything, I don't have anything for home decor apart from one thing, which is this, and it's hot water bottle covers. I thought this was such a cute idea. I don't know why. I've never seen these before. Like, I've never seen crocheted water bottle covers, but it just makes so much sense. Like, so much sense. And I feel like this would be really cute as well for, um, like, practicing, like, tapestry pieces because they don't really need to be that big um depending on what size water bottle you have but you could do like a little cute little picture on the front maybe like a robin or like a dog or just a cat or just something really cute and then make it into a water bottle cover i think that would be really really nice but apart from that i don't 
have anything else but things for pets and I thought I'd include this because um, we were at sh the shop the other day and my grandma pointed out these um, scarves for dogs and she was like oh Lish you could easily make like crochet some of those and then mum's like oh yeah crochet me a couple for like presents for because we've got family dogs and I was like that is such a smart idea I shall do that so I thought I'd include this here um because they're just so adorable they're so cute um they're just like little sweaters but for your dogs or your cats i even found one that was for a rabbit which is just that's just too much i can't that, that's too much a handle um i love this one again this looks like christmas treat but could you imagine making ones to match i'd i'd, I'd serve that i, I want to match outfits for my cat i'm not gonna lie um but then there's also scarves um little pom-poms on the end and they just seem really cute and probably really easy but yeah that, that, that's that I don't know what to, I might just put pets but it's literally just sweaters and scarves so I might just put it as like miscellaneous or just random extras I don't know I could have probably put them in clothing but oh my god can you hear me now? but yeah that is everything that I have collected under the winter category I might do a part two to this because I'll probably end up finding a bunch more things even though they're probably just going to be the same sweaters and things like that but like I said towards the I might do it next actually because I'm thinking like towards the middle of December I could do a Christmas one but if you're wanting to make something for Christmas then you kind of want to be making it way before Christmas so the next one might be a Christmas crochet ideas Pinterest video Christmas crochet Pinterest videos idea Christmas Pinterest Christmas cr Christmas crochet Pinterest ideas video <sighs> took the life out of me, I'm not gonna lie. Huh. So yeah, um, I expect that very soon. I'll also be doing a bunch of gift guide things. I think December's gonna be the Pinterest era. Like, that's gonna be the month for Pinterest videos. Just because it's all about giving ideas, giving, giving gifts, ideas. It's not all about giving gifts, it's about family and love and warmth and... Mm, you know what I mean you, you know what I mean I feel like Pinterest in December is going to be the most useful video for me to produce for you guys so there we go just a couple little things we are almost at 5,000 subscribers which is absolutely mental so first of all thank you very 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 much um when I reach 5k I'll be doing a little Q&A thing because I feel like I feel like you know me if you watch all my videos but I, I just I want to delve into it you know I want you to know me know me I want you to know me know me um so I'll be doing like a little 5k Q&A thing whilst I like get ready to film a video because quite a couple of people have asked for like hair stuff although it's not it's not really backing me up right now um but yeah be doing that um I look like a doll when I do that yeah and then also the Discord community, love you all again sorry I've been so inactive I haven't replied to anyone again um I went to Myers last week and then I've come back and I feel like I've just plummeted so lack of content is there um so I do apologize for that but onwards and upwards um onwards and upwards also I have my like Pinterest link down below in the description always because I tend to plan videos before like way before I do them so I have quite a few boards that I haven't done videos on but I will be doing videos on such as like gift guides and like gifts for siblings gifts for partners blah 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 blah. I don't have that one yet but I've just thought of that one so I'm doing that one and then also I'll be crocheting a, crocheting a few gifts for Christmas this year so hopefully I'll have videos on those too but I'm not going to put too much pressure on myself to do that because I tend to go slower when I record my process naturally so yeah I've been re-watching Big Mouth I'm not gonna lie and it's all I've been thinking about this video is been able to like go back and continue watching it um so that I'd share that with you also don't forget if you do recreate any of these or you are in the process of creating any of these that you've seen in the video today don't forget to tag me on Instagram it's just at baby sprout it's probably where I'm most active I'm in and out of TikTok so that's just like 
that's a realm that's like a gray area we don't talk about her um but instagram's probably the place where i'm most active so if you do ever recreate anything from any of my pinterest videos um obviously give credit to the original creator but i'd love to see i'm just really nosy and i just like looking at other people's projects um so yeah feel free to tag me or just send them to me um my boxes are open and i try my best to reply even though i'm absolutely terrible terribly even though i'm absolutely terrible at it but yeah, that is it from me, my lovely dumplings, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye, Treacle. Love you, Puke.